What's going on, everyone? It's Rich Haywood here from Bacon Ice Cream Productions and Team RTFC, welcoming you to yet another episode of Good Times with Retro Rich and Fun for Five. That's right, it's Fun for Five, and it's on a Wednesday. Is it the arcade? No, because I was too busy this weekend. <laughs> Sorry, but it is another Master System game. Master System bonus time. What game is it? It is. Afterburner on the Sega Master System. Yeah. Yeah. Afterburner. All right, cool. So, this one is, of course, a classic, venerable classic arcade game. So, that means we will have to, at some point, go back in time and remember that we did Afterburner so we could do Afterburner on the Legends of Ultimate Arcade. <clears throat> but... We're doing the SMS version on a Wednesday because we can. So, let's open this up and see what we got. We've got a complete game, which means we're going to do the manual real quick, and then we're going to jump in and play some stuff. We pop open this here and take out our previous title <clears throat> and put in our new game. And it's loaded. Okay. So, after burner. Hopefully, this isn't like sick a. Doesn't seem too too thick, of a thing. So we get this get this through real quick and get into the game, get into the playing. There's even a poster in here too, but we can check that out later. Oh, here we go. On the back of the box, you're an ace fighter pilot. For wings, you have an F-14 Thundercat, the most advanced fighter jet ever developed in the sky. You're a perfect combination of man and machine. The country's feared him. Depends on your success. Good luck. That's a pretty... It's bold. That's just like, do it, or you, you will fail, like, your country. It's pretty wild, right? Anyway, he's got some afterburner. Oh, lots of different instructions. Lots and lots and lots of different instructions. Oh, <clears throat> oh! So this whole this whole manual is actually divided in the separate languages on the same page. So let me go back to the the control thing. So this is going to be real short. Um, that's the mission. Yeah, take to the air. All right, learning to fly. Use the Sega pad. You know, same flight flight and firepower control as the real F-14's control stick. That's a bold claim. All right, cool. And, let's see, uh, okay, there we go, um, the D button does, you know, all your stuff and rolls, uh, button one is shoot air-to-air -air guided missiles, and two is fire at the Vulcan cannon, which is, I guess, your, your, uh, like machine gun, air machine gun. When left to itself, the battle computer will either assume or return the F-14 Thundercat to a horizontal flying position. So if you're like all up sore down and whatever and you're you just want to level off, you just take your hand off and it just kind of levels it. But there's not much going on here in the manual. <clears throat> Let's check that out. So you got all the different languages there. And then it's the same thing in all the languages. So so that's pretty cool. And then uh, to make it roll, turn the D-pad left or right, and then immediately the opposite direction. So like so, like, you start start back, and then, and then it actually does a roll, which is kind of cool. Um, the objective after runner is to complete 18 stages of aerial combat. Meet the trucks at each landing field, obtain the plans, and return safely to the aircraft carrier Sega Enterprise. Oh, that's cool. Um, you have three uh, F-14 Thundercats. If your jet is hit by an enemy missile or explodes or falls to the ground, you lose that jet. Another will take its place so you can resume combat in the air. And you can get an additional jet for every 5 million points. And then again at 15 million. And then you, you lose the game when you lost all your jets, of course. Starting the game, button 1 or button 2. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Everything sounds pretty good. Got the heads-up display. Got all that kind of stuff. I mean, it's pretty much get in the air, start shooting some planes. So... <clears throat> What are we going to do? We're going to turn on this thing here. 
And we're going to do just that. We're going to get in the air and start shooting some plants. Because, yeah, that's what you do. All right, I'm going to hit this button. All right, let's do it. Get in the air, shoot some plants. Ooh. I hear the FM. You know what that means. So we had E's. I, I do believe E's actually had um, an FM setting, but it, it, does, it wasn't working on the Retron, so I don't know why it didn't work on the E's, fun for five. But this one should work. There's the, there's the PGM <clears throat> chip tunes. All right, but we're gonna go back and, of course, we're gonna choose the FM because the FM is always, always a little better. do this. Ooh, it says get ready. That was kind of cool. Alright. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. The action is hot and heavy in this game. Whoa. We're doing barrel rolls. We're doing all sorts of crazy stuff. Check that out. Oh! Ooh, we got shot down already. Alright. Oh, alright. So that green one immediately fired a weapon at me, so... It was, uh, it was hard to see that the weapon was coming at me. Oh, I got shot down again. It was, again, hard to see. Can I just... Maybe I can just do like a. There we go. There we go. Whoa, man! They, these guys aren't aren't playing around. <clears throat> They're firing fast and furious. Can you just keep firing the? Oh, yeah, I think you just keep firing rockets like there's nobody's business. Check that. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Oh, we got it. We're ready, going to stage two. I mean, this is definitely like, you know, you know how, how close can you get to the arcade action, right? Um, I mean, it's pretty neat. You know, this, this is, this is a pretty good representation of the, you know, arcade fierceness in action on an 8-bit system. I mean, you know, yeah, okay, the, the background is just basically a, a scrolling layer that is <laughs> perpetually turning in a circle because I'm, <laughs> uh, I'm a little overzealous with the controls here. And again, I think the, um, ah, stop, stop firing. <laughs> Stop firing these rockets. Um, the, uh, you know, I know I'm, I'm, you know, overzealous. And the Hyperkin controller, I think, is not helping me at all. <laughs> um, but, oh, oh, oh. Get away from that, that laser beam. What if we can fire rockets at those guys? Oh, no, no, no. Got bombers. Look at these guys flying. I want to get that guy out of the way. I 
I need the... Oh, sweet. We got through the next stage. All right. But, man, this, this action is, like, frantic. So, anyone that's watching the footage and is getting a little dizzy, I'm sorry. Because, <laughs> like I said, the, the hyperkinetic controller, and, and it's got to be the hyperkinetic controller, um, it is so sensitive. Like, any little, any little, uh, like, tilt is sending it into that barrel roll action. I mean, it, it's getting me past what I need to get past, which is kind of cool. Oh, man. These guys... Eat some rockets. Come on. Take those rockets. Ugh. I mean, these guys are okay. We can just shoot them down. That's all good. This is when those green guys come and show up. They start firing these, like, crazy... They just fire rockets right away at you. And it's nuts. Oh, yeah, that was pretty cool. Take that. Whoa, what's this? Oh, mid-air fuel action? Or am I supposed to... Oh, yeah. Docking. Mid-air fuel. It counts points. Getting all sorts of points. Ooh, I cracked a million. That's pretty cool. Alright. Nice. Alright, so was it stage four? Alright, I got no one left, though. Let's see what we got. Whoa, and already they're coming at me with the... Those dudes that shoot the the missiles. Look at all those missiles. That's crazy. That is crazy. Oh my goodness. That is nuts. Alright, this is a little better. We're getting back to normal. Just the just the planes. That right, green plane. Oh, there it is. That's it. Game over. 1,817,000. All right. I'll take that. Let me go back to the main screen. But that'll be it for this Fun for Five. Let's go back and chat a little bit about Afterburner. <clears throat> so, that was Afterburner on the Sega Master System via the Retron 5 and that beautiful FM soundtrack. It's pretty cool. So, played the game for five minutes. It was crazy. <laughs> that was a crazy action. I don't even know what to say about that. But, I will say, was the fun found? Yes. There it is. The fun was found. It's such a great game. I mean, Afterburn is really cool. I mean, I remember playing it in the arcade because I had that, like, image in my head of Afterburner. You know, like, most most probably kids my age when you start getting to that that the teen age uh age range and you see films like Terminator 2 Judgment Day and you see the the kid in there the little John Connor sitting in there playing afterburner like flying around doing all this crazy stuff and then you got the the thing that has the servos that like moves you around and you're flipping around all over the place I mean who doesn't want to play that arcade game right you know so and then I guess you know, if you're you're really, really into that game, who doesn't want to take the fun home, right? You know, like the, the cheesy commercials, I'm sure, that they that exist out there somewhere um, for this. But, I mean, I had a good time. And usually when it's like action-oriented shooter games like this, I am terrible at them. Terrible. But, oh, well, this one, I was able to flip, zip, zap, zoom around. Uh, again, yes, uh, apologies to anyone that was trying to keep their eyes on the action. Because I just kept bower rolling everywhere. You know, sorry. Sorry, I hope you guys didn't eat right before you watched this. But um, but anyway, yes, the fun totally was found. And uh, and that's, you know, and that's it. I mean, it, yeah, this is, this might be one of those ones where you turn on, like, infinite lives. 
you know, a little old man, old man mode. You turn on infinite lives and say, let's let's have at it and just get through all these stages and do that maybe on a like a, a cool live stream or something like that. So, but what what do you guys think? What do you guys think of the game? Let me know down below in the comments. I always love talking to you guys. And um you know, then also let me know too. If, do you want me to uh hook up some afterburner on a long play and play it through with old man mode activated and just chill and chat with you guys? I'd be happy to do that. You know, let me know. Let me know. Hit me up in the comments. But that's it. That is it for the Fun for Five. We are ready to rock and roll to our next video. Um, so that's tomorrow is Thursday. So that would be Atari VCS stuff. Don't know which... I think we're, we're into the vaults finally. Atari Vault Volume 1 on the VCS store. So we're going to check that out. So come on back to us tomorrow if you want some cool retro Atari action coming courtesy of the VCS. And um, yeah. Now it's time for the friends. There they are. Give them likes, give them subs. Uh, a lot of these friends, again, you know, we're talking about the Amico for a couple days. We got tons of cool stuff coming out. All sorts of people that are on this list went to the Eastern area. They played the thing. They got some opinions. Watch some videos. Watch some videos here on our channel, too, because we got some stuff coming out. Of course, next week is the Intellivision Amico Takeover where all five days, nothing but Amico videos. Sorry, SMS crowd. That's why you're getting bonuses this week, though. Um, but next week, all Amico all the time will come back to our regular schedule after the vacation, which is next week as well, which is the reason why we're doing the whole thing. Anyway, what about some Evercade? Yeah. Yeah. What, what about the Evercast? I think we're on a little break. Um, I forgot to watch the last part of the Evercast where they start talking about that thing. I think we're on break for a couple weeks, but <clears throat> there's these guys. <clears throat> They're the friends. Go hang out in the Facebook group and talk some Evercade. And then go hang out on Itch Munch Moore's channel just about every last weekend or last Thursday of the month for Itch Munch Moore's Evercade live session. Check that out, too. Likes, subs, all the things. Brings us back here to Bacon Ice Cream Productions, of course, on the way out. Hit that red button for us. And we will appreciate it and grow the channel and do awesome things for great causes, as is the mission of Bacon Ice Cream Productions. But until next time, we will catch you next time for some good times. I'm Rich, and we will see you later. Take it easy, guys, and uh, have fun out there.